welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here either way thank you so much for watching this video um as you can tell from the title this is going to be a top shop and pastel styling haul um i happened to fall in love with basically everything pastel on the top shop website when i was doing my order so everything is very colorful today and i thought um i know colors and pastels are slightly harder to style than maybe neutrals so i thought i'd show you how i'm going to be styling them up and i will also share with you some images that i've taken over on instagram for other styling ideas um and as I said, there is loads more on Instagram. So if you did want more styling tips or styling ideas, then head over to my Instagram. It's Kirsty E. Elizabeth, and you'll find loads of stuff there. Everything I mentioned today is gonna to be linked in the description box down below. If I style bits with other pieces from other brands, I will also try and link those down below. So yeah, you can find everything basically in the description box down below. Okay guys, so first up, I styled up these cute little pink shorts um so these were i basically have just received this order i haven't taken any tags out yet so i can tell you how much everything is and what size i'm wearing for reference so these are 10 pounds um uh, these are a size 10 so i'm wearing size 10 in this and i just thought they were really good they're so good for lounging around the house for a start obviously we're going to be doing a lot of that over the next couple of months um but then they are also like perfect for going out on holiday um, they're so comfortable obviously the fact that they are pink. I love that. I never ever wear any pink so I'm I'm shocking myself here, but I'm really enjoying wearing pink especially when I've got a tan I probably wouldn't wear it when I haven't got a tan especially this kind of pink. This is a proper hot pink um, And I've paired it here with a new look shirt um, Which is obviously also pink so it just kind of like I'm really into monochrome outfits monochrome outfits at the moment um, So just like different shades of the same color just think complement each other so well and just looks really cute in an outfit um, So yeah, that's what I'm wearing first of all and then I just thought I'd show you them with these really cute pink socks. They are like a baby pink. They say oh honey on them. They're just super cute and really nice to wear with like, again, in a monochrome outfit or just a pastel outfit. They complement so many different looks. Um, and yeah, this is just kind of how I would wear them out rather than in with my slippers as I was doing before. Um, so yeah, that's those. So moving on to another pair of really cute comfy shorts, I got these blue shorts, um, obviously a really nice baby pastel blue. These I am wearing in a size 10 and they are £15. So the pink ones, I think the size 10 were perfect. These ones do come up a tiny, tiny bit bigger, so I probably could have got an 8 in these, but they've got this um, cord waist that you can tighten and tie up, so it's fine. For me to have a 10 um but yeah really really cute obviously would look great with blue i've actually styled this um on my instagram with a denim jacket and the same blue bag i'll put a photo of that here um but yeah then i have worn it here with this really cute zara bag which i am obsessed with obviously the blues together are super cute as well and i just thought i'd pair it with a neutral blazer i think this blazer is from nasty gal but i'm gonna link it if they still have it or i'll link a very similar one if not um so i would wear these out with a blazer i just think that's such a cool look at the moment um again also would just wear them hanging around the house then I just wanted to show you them with a, one of these blazers, this one here, um, because I do think pastels sort of clashing colours together works really well because they are such soft colours. just looks so nice together and I really, really love blue and yellow. Um, I just think, first of all, it's like a sunny day, isn't it? Blue sky and the sun, um, which is just such a happy, positive vibe anyway. I'm loving doing that with my outfits. Like, wearing all yellow is just such a positive, happy vibe. But yeah, these are super cute together. So we just thought I would show you those two worn together um, because I would definitely go out wearing that. Obviously, the blazer dresses are up a lot more and then how comfortable wearing those on the bottom half. Um, so then continuing with this blazer because it is a dream. It is a obviously pastel yellow, really, really soft, um, lovely thick fabric, such a nice cut shoulder pads, double, um, double breasted with the buttons. It's also got this... Um, tie at the back so you can obviously wear it belted cinched in or you can take this off completely and just wear it without that or you can do what i've done and do a little tie at the back i think that looks quite cute as well so if you are not one for wearing loads of bright colors together then this is still the perfect kind of pop of color that is one step away from neutral um so if you're like trying to take slow steps to introducing more color into your wardrobe because this is almost like a buttermilk yellow it is such a soft pastel yellow yellow that it is 
almost a neutral I would say so it's great to wear with just jeans and like a neutral top and then you've just got a slight pop of colour it's like really nice in summer the spring summer um, so that is why I have worn it here with these jeans these are my new favourite jeans I got them on ASOS they're by a brand called Collusion so I will leave those linked down below but I just thought the kind of grungy slouchy vibe of those jeans with a nice tailored blazer on top just looks really nice it's a nice contrast and it basically sums up my style perfectly to be honest and I've just put it with my converse which to be honest need a wash so bad they are kind of matching the grey top they are that grey but they are of course meant to be white so yeah I need to wash those but um, I just thought those went quite well with the slouchy jeans so continuing with the yellow trend um, this is the cutest cardigan you have probably seen it on every single person on Instagram in some kind of colour because Topshop do it in different colours um, obviously the cardigan trend is very in at the moment and this one is just super cute it's got these elasticated buttons which I absolutely love because it means it kind of gives you like these holes if that makes sense so it's just like gives you a little bubbled effect at the front where you can kind of see through a little bit which I really like and then obviously it's got the lace trim which is just really pretty and um, this is quite a bright yellow it's hard to describe it it's not as soft um, it's not as soft sort of buttermilk as the blazer um, but it is still definitely a pastel and again I love wearing things like this with like the slouchy jeans that I've got on there again same jeans from ASOS um, just like the contrast between this cute pretty feminine top and then the slouchy tomboy grungy skater vibe jeans um, so yeah I have obviously worn it unbuttoned but then you can also wear it buttoned all the way up it looks super cute either way to be honest um, and then I have paired it with this black bag. This is from New Look, but I'm pretty sure it is sold out, unfortunately. However, there are so many of these around. I will link you some very similar down below. Okay, so moving on to the most beautiful blazer. Lilac is my obsession at the moment. And this is just such a stunning pastel lilac blazer. It is really nice and thick, very similar to the yellow one. Um, slightly different material but really nice thick good quality love the shoulder pads I really like the sharp lapels I just think it looks very smart and tailored super nice I got this in a size 10 um, and I got the other blazer in a 10 as well just so you know they are oversized anyway so um, I just kind of size up one rather than sizing up too much if you just want them as like a nice oversized fit um, I am wearing this with this grey top here I've featured oh <laughs> I um, have worn this in other outfits already um, this little grey vest top I got in a 10 and is is, is £4 literally £4 um, it's really cute with the little frilled edges and yeah it's very very basic very simple but very good to wear with loads of loads of different outfits to be honest the reason I get a 10 I like things to just be slightly looser I just think that's a, that's like probably a top tip for me one it's just always more flattering when things are slightly looser rather than really fitted not it's irrelevant of your size you could be the skinniest person in the world it just looks nicer and it looks more expensive so yeah I just think anything really tight often it's not as comfortable let's be real it's not as flattering and it just looks cheaper so that is why I always kind of size up but I guess I have a bit of an eye for what I would need to size up in now so I just know when I'm going to want to size up or when to go true to size um, by the way the trainers that I'm wearing with pretty much everything in this haul are from Nasty Gal I will link them down below if they're still in stock if not I'll find some very very similar um, those were so good because they were such a bargain I think they are about they were under £30 anyway and they're just really nice chunky trainers so I am wearing this blazer and the little top with a pair of new look jeans um, they are so handy if you want a light coloured pair of jeans they are white I'm pretty sure maybe slightly very slightly off white um, but yeah they just go with everything lighter everything pastel so if you've got a lot of pastels in your wardrobe and you're wondering what to wear them with getting some white jeans if you don't have some already is a really great idea um, and those ones are really flattering from new look so I will link those down below then I just wanted to show you kind of putting some pastels together so I put the blazer on with these yellow jeans now I have not fully decided if I'm keeping these jeans yet that is why they still have the tags on them um, so please ignore that in the haul but these are the editor style jeans um, I got these in a 10 again um, 
these actually do come up quite small um so the size 10 uh, the reason i get size 10 in jeans is because of my thighs i have a small um or a smaller waist in comparison in proportion to my thighs my thighs are a lot bigger so i have to get bigger jeans to fit my thighs and then usually the waist is quite loose um, and I just put a belt or I sew it up but the waist on these 28 width jeans was quite tight so I would say size up um, I do know Topshop jeans it's a lot better if you go in and try them on because they can have one width 28 that fits you and one width 28 that's massive so it is kind of difficult but maybe order a couple of pairs and send one back um, but yeah so they are really nice pastel yellow colour um, the editor jeans have this slight kick flare style at the bottom, you'll be seeing it anyway um, in the styling part of the video. But um, these were £49, so not cheap, but they are a really, really lovely fit. Um, and I do really like them, and I love the yellow. It's just how much am I going to wear yellow jeans, it's what I'm trying to decide. So let me, let me know what you guys think, I would love to know uh, whether you think I should keep them. But I did just think that yellow and lilac are the dream combination like even just next to each other there how pretty is that combination such a nice color combo so yeah i thought i'd just style those two together to show you what that might look like so running with the yellow theme because i literally couldn't get enough yellow and topshop have so much yellow on their site um these are probably my favorite thing in the whole haul they are like a gingham print a almost like waffle fabric texture They've got an elasticated uh, paper bag waist, and um, these were these were £22, and I got them in a size 10. Again, I like them looser. These do fit really nicely, I think, because of the elasticated waist, um, you can afford to size up and have them still fit your waist nicely. Um, so yeah, they are just so, so comfy. Please ignore my underwear of choice that I wore in the styling part, because honestly, I don't know what I was thinking, you do need a neutral pair of knickers or white or something. Not black, but anyway, they are super cute. They are just great to wear in summer, in spring. You know, you can wear them around the house and they're going to be super comfortable. I've just put them with the classic white uh, racerback vest top that everyone has from Topshop. That top is so handy by the way, if you don't have it I would advise buying it because it goes with everything. Um, but yeah, I've just worn them with that and then a straw hat for a very summery look. And then I've also got a yellow jumper from ASOS that I'm wearing around my shoulders. I absolutely love that jumper, I live in it. Um, if it is still in stock I will link that one down below as well. Um, so that's obviously kind of like very summery look. I also styled these up on my Instagram with this yellow blazer and this yellow bandeau top. Um, I'll leave the image here. This top is so nice, hopefully you're seeing it in the image. Um, but yeah, I think this was literally like £6, something like that. It's a nice thick material, you don't need to wear a bra with it and obviously just such a pretty colour. Goes very nicely with the blazer and with these shorts as well. And then just showing you a more neutral way to wear these shorts with a white blazer, white top and white sandals. So the sandals are from New Look um, and the blazer is actually quite old but I will link a similar white blazer down below because I've seen lots of beautiful white blazers around and it is a great staple to have for spring, summer. So especially if you're going to wear pastels, having anything neutral is always good to throw over the top of them. So next up I got something a little bit different, sticking with the kind of theme of probably spending quite a lot of time around the house, around the garden, or you know going for walks and in parks this spring summer, depending on where lockdown goes and all the rest of it, I thought I'd get some comfortable but really pretty spring summer pieces. So that's what this is. Um, this is a jumpsuit, it has got a, I've forgotten what you call this at the top, but it's elasticated. Um, so it's sort of stretchy and then it goes down into a nice wide leg. They are slightly cropped as well. Got this really nice um, ditzy floral print, sort of yellow, green and orange. And then you just tie the shoulders here like this. I'm sure you could probably tuck these in as well if you wanted to wear it strapless um, because it does kind of hold up with the elasticated boob tube type bit. This was £29.99. I got it in a size 10. Again, so it's flattering on the legs. Um, and I just thought it was super cute paired with this um, belt that I'm wearing it with here. This is um, quite old, I think I got it from Mango, I'm going to link a similar one down below. Um, but yeah, these kind of like woven belts always look great with spring style pieces. Okay, and then lastly guys, I got these jeans. <clears throat> these are um, dad jeans, they have got darts in them to make them super um, slouchy but also I mean that you can have them nice and tight around the waist. Now, these were out of stock in my size, so I got them in a size 12, 
which is technically sizing up by one because I always go for a 10 and then have a slightly looser waist anyway. So as you can imagine, they are very loose on my waist. What I have done in the um, styling part of this video is just tie them at the back, um, but I am going to be sewing these um, just at the back here. I will do a little tuck and sew them probably, or I might do two little darts either side. I'll see what I think looks best, but I absolutely love these. They're just super slouchy, as you can see. They just look really cool and like skater vibes, dad jean like model off duty kind of that sort of look and I just think they look really nice with this yellow bandeau wherever I put it this yellow bandeau um, because having something this baggy on the bottom half is something tight on the top half really love that look with the contrast between the two um, I'm not actually sure how much these were I I would imagine about four to five pounds because it's top shop um, but yeah they're nice blue denim color just like true almost like a vintage blue look and then yeah, super super wide leg at the bottom. So that is everything guys, um, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you liked it, let me know what your favourite piece was, or let me know what your favourite outfit was, and as I said, everything's linked down below, so um, the idea of this haul isn't to make you go straight to Topshop and spend hundreds of pounds, but just to give you some ideas and inspiration of maybe how you could style some pieces that you've already got, or you know, if there was a few pieces that you loved here, you can invest in some of those as well. Um, there are obviously some really cheap pieces like the little vest tops, and then some more expensive pieces like the blazers, but these are definitely a good investment because they just you can wear them so many different ways for so many different occasions um and yeah it's always good to have blazers in your wardrobe but as i was saying i hope you enjoyed it and if you aren't already subscribed i would really love it if you could hit the subscribe button down below um but thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you in the next one bye